what I would like to do is to take serious that we work on a deep question. Why do some people from us or so many people get cancer? What does it mean to us? How can we still walk a path with it? How can we yeah, still develop or maybe even become healthier? Support the healing process, which is not healing is always not just a one a singular thing thing. So things have to come together. And how can eurythmic therapy contribute to it? And we must be aware that some of us cannot be here for time reasons because it's a worldwide uh, group in a way. But some of us also can't be here because it's not going well. And let's have this in mind that we allow ourselves to be inwardly touched and moved and do not think, ah, Theodore is now bringing a few things, how to do it. No, we walk a path. And I was, I, yeah, I was surprised in the beginning when I read, why are you here? That so many of us are also here because they know someone suffering from cancer or have a friend or relative suffering from cancer, cancer or want to develop abilities if it happens. How can I help others? And when and we have now, we are in the middle of the course. Huh? We have, it's uh, the middle of the section two. Yeah, we have always two, a section over two weeks. And now we are in the middle of section two somehow. And I think now it's getting, we are there that we can make a step to ask ourselves, is it possible to help others? Was it just a wish? And I can already tell you from the German group, which had happened two hours ago, I have asked them, go, please go into breakout rooms. And you are four or five people, if everybody accepts the invitation. And then look for two people who are willing to do a little bit of eurythmy. Not just a little bit of eurythmy, but maybe one of the sounds which meant something to you during this week. Or maybe the whole sequence, just quietly go through it your way. O E M L E B D. Hmm? Take a minute or one minute and a half for it. And then quietly sit down, be quiet for a minute, and then somebody else also shows, shows something. It can be the same, it can be something different. It doesn't matter at all. And we are not trying to bring something and I am now showing what I did, yeah, and I try to do my best. Or but what we practice in a way is staying with ourselves. Yeah? I just do it my way and I try to stay in contact with myself. And also the person which watches, <laughs> looks, yeah, receive. I wouldn't even say receive because we are not intent to give something through Eurythmy, I think. But the person which is allowed, who has the honor to see what somebody else is doing, just stays with him or herself. What is he doing to me? Not analyzing it, just and not have, wanting to have results, but just being there. And then you have another minute of quiet and then you can exchange or continue the way you want. But please be aware that 
it's a setting of mutual trust and that you can have that you meet in the group for the reason that every if if possible everybody feels better afterwards yeah because when you have good meetings you meet exciting people it's easy wow we had a good meeting but if it's not if you don't have harmony in the meeting it can easily be that you pass afterwards you leave it and and it's not so easy to digest a sort of emptiness which you take along yeah because you haven't met and so just let's try to be aware that we create an atmosphere of warmth and of presence where everybody can be there's nothing more needed okay I repeat go into your group discuss a little bit who is who wants to show something for the beginning two people have one minute quiet or less or, but then the first person starts one minute stillness second person starts again a little bit of time for stillness and then the, it depends on you what you then do exchange or repeat or yeah okay do you have questions about it i had one question you know in the part uh, this is denise denise um, hello after, hi um after the part where the people show and we allow quiet time then did you want us to possibly address those questions that you started with like why so many people get cancer and how we can become healthier or is that just something you want us to be thinking about like great question nothing of this kind we are just the question is only what does it do with me when i see somebody doing it with me that's the question okay that's Thank you. i would say the only question because if we want to help we must answer this this question And what I would suggest is that I think that's where it's leading to, but it can be different. We are not trying to bring eurythmy to someone because we are not trained eurythmists. I cannot show you eurythmy. I cannot look what is wrong with you. We must do this or that, that it comes better. I can only show you how I do eurythmy. Yeah. Okay. That's the, I think the intention of today. And a source of discovery. Yeah, we don't do any harm. We just let it other, other, others see how I connect with the sequence, with this, these sounds. Feel free. And the, and be surprised. Allow yourself to become surprised. Mm, I think. <laughs> I think I have to say thank you because I mean I was putting you at the risk. Yeah. And but I was a little bit expecting what you said. Huh? But please let's keep in mind that when you have a feedback um, round, then you hear the people who had good experiences. And there can also be a few who do not so feel so well now, who maybe feel a little bit lonely or I didn't dare to, yeah. And and this is also okay, yeah. So let's also think, yeah, we are in a balance. If some people people experience, wow, that was great, yeah, and others hear it, they might feel, oh, for me it was not so special and alone for this reason you feel a little bit guilty again against you, about yourself. So please, all of you, just thank you so much that you dared to enter this space and give the space that we can make these experiences. Because in a way, our question is, what are we doing? What are we dealing with? Huh? And when Michelle, I think it was you who said a being or someone came yeah, and it was so different, the theory could be, who is this, uh, this being, maybe? 
It's me. <laughs> yeah. What's our concept of ourselves? Yeah. I'm not saying it is like this. They're all things are possible. But this who is me is also, um, it is a riddle. Yeah. And maybe. Th and we had only one task. Do you remember? It was try to stay with yourself. We do not try to give. We do not try to be good. Yeah. We do not try to. Oh, I'm, yeah. Also, when you were doing it, you stayed with yourself. When you were watching, you stayed with yourself. And I think the staying with yourself actually creates the bridge. Yeah. Which even makes it possible when you do it on different continents and you do not creep into the the, the screens and cameras, but you stay with yourself and the connection that you can feel what you feel has to do with this. What Rob said, I think it's touching somehow. You don't do it good and it is still a, a certain aura around it. I mean, don't do it good. That's not what I mean. You don't, how it's in the book. Yeah, you don't do, you do it your way. And it's still so beautiful. That's this moment because you stay with yourself. And the theory is that then your rhythm can unfold. Yeah. And sure, was it Marie or who said it that I had practiced before? And this allowed me to go with it. Yeah. And that I think that is true. You must have some little bridge that you can connect. Yeah. If it's completely strange, if it's that you have uh, practiced it or something, but some sort of bridge is helpful. Yeah. But let's explore it. Let's explore it further. What is needed that it helps? But we have just touched a little bit that just by watching somebody doing Rizmi who stays with him or herself can touch me deeply. Yeah. And even create inner movements or inner feelings in me. 